for many aspects of oncology, we have prognostic tests, things that tell us how bad you might do. But for mo the most part, we don't have very many tests that tell us how well you will do because you were on this medicine. And this is one of those tests that actually gets us that. So to know to a patient that, hey, we know your prognosis is X, Y, or Z, but also you're the patient that if we were able to give you this medicine, you'll actually have a better outcome because of it. So a predictive biomarker versus a prognostic biomarker is something that causes a lot of confusion to a lot of patients, but definitely to a lot of doctors as well. Telling somebody how they might do is prognostic. In other words, your cancer is this big, has these molecular features, and has this chance of coming back. That doesn't speak to how our medicines and treatments will make that number differently. That's what predictive tests do. They tell us if you do a specific intervention, these are the different outcomes that can happen as a result of that specific intervention. People conflate those two concepts, but they really are distinct.